Okay, we have just finished creating this top box with our fraction three-fifths. Now we're going to take these two other pieces and just like we've done in the past, we're going to kind of make it a little flower petal in which we cut on each of those lines just to the dotted line in the middle. And then do the same with the other. Okay. And then remember we need to fold them up just a little bit on those dotted lines so that we can use them as kind of like a little flip. other one. Okay. And then we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to be gluing um, write the division problem on the left. Just like this. Remember don't glue the flaps down because then we can't use them. And then we're going to glue right as a fraction on the right. Cap my glue stick so it doesn't dry out and ready to move on. Okay, here we go. We're going to start first with 8 over 31. I'm going to break apart or open back up my example. And we also have our examples that we just did in our previous station. So we should have somewhat of an idea of what we're going to write here. 8 over 31. Now remember, your numerator becomes your dividend, or the number on the inside of your division problem, and your denominator becomes your divisor, which is the number on the outside. So 8 and 31. So this reads 8 divided by 31. We can also write it using a symbol, 8 divided by 31, as well as in word form. Okay. Then we'll go down to 11, 12. And again, the 11 goes inside the division problem, and the 12 goes on the outside. We can also read this as 11 divided by 12, and then in word form, 11 divided by 12. Then we'll go to 3 sixteenths. Again, the numerator goes on the inside and the denominator goes on the outside of the division problem. 3 divided by 16 and in word form. And then finally, 15 fiftieths. 15 on the inside, 50 on the outside. 15 divided by 50, and then in word form. Okay, heading to our other little flower petal here. Now we're doing it from the division problem back to a fraction. So if we've got 3 divided by 11, the 3 on the inside of the problem becomes my numerator and 11 as my denominator because the 3 is on the inside of the division problem. If we follow up here, 3 becomes the numerator, 11 was the 
divisor and it becomes your denominator. Now 6 divided by 19. We can write that as a fraction just like so. And if we remember from our previous station, 6, and then we can use that fractional line as a division sign, 19. Okay. Now, 2 divided by 8, 2 divided by 8. And lastly, 12 divided by 20. Again, I used my fractional line to remember about my division symbol, 12 divided by 20. And that is how our notebook page for fractions as a division statement should look when we are finished.